Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a very unique product with a whole lot of utility to it. This is the Gigapump 2.0, the world's smallest air pump and lantern. So every once in a while you come across a product that's really unique and really stands out. And this definitely is one. Now, while we all have mouths and lungs and can blow up most camp mattresses very simply, this does a whole lot more than that. This will not only blow that up, but it will blow up a variety of other items as well as shrink down your vacuum bags and deflate your items as well. Also is included is a nice lamp. I like the fact that it comes with the lamp because it adds more value to the product. And it's quite a bright lamp as well. We'll test that out in a little bit. Now, originally, this was an Indiegogo campaign back from Micro Novelty. Uh, that was the first generation. This is now in its second generation, and it's proven itself over a good deal of time to be a reliable, handy device. With its ultra-portable design, this Gigapump is only 89 grams. That's incredibly tiny. They say it's the size of a key. Um, if you take a look at what it looks like in my hand you'll see how small this is. There really isn't much to this thing. It's a tiny little device. It also has a little hanger on top here to hang. This is its lantern on the bottom. Very neat little system and uh, a bunch of different inflating and deflating attachments for it. Now it can be charged with a type C port. You'd like you charge it with a power bank or a normal wall charger or a PC computer. It does come with a small charging cable as a USB-C on the end there and it charges up right there fairly simple to charge up and operate I did charge it up last night fully and I would say it took about an hour it was pretty low when it comes they can't ship them um, full uh, most of these batteries can't be shipped full so they kept it nice and low and I charged it up now it is powered with a 1300 milliamp hour lithium-ion battery one charge will last long enough to inflate 10 single air mattresses or vacuum out 20 large vacuum bags or at least 10 hours of illumination on high. That's 400 lumens for 10 hours. That's pretty darn good. I gotta say, I'm impressed with that. It comes with an ultra bright lantern with the brightness level of 40 to 400 lumens. It has three levels of lighting. We'll show you that here now. Basically, you're gonna push and hold to turn it on. And that's your 40. And it never gave me a middle, middle range. And that's your high, that's your 400 lumens. So, inside a tent, that's more than enough light. Um, that would be almost too bright. I would probably opt for the 40 lumens to sleep with. I like having some light in my tent at night, um, even if it's just the dull glow of a radio, you know, screen or something. I don't like sleeping in complete darkness when I'm in, outside in the wilderness or camping or whatever, because I like being able to see where everything is in my tent if I need to evacuate quickly, or if there's an emergency or a wild animal or whatever. I like to be able to have that light, so I'd probably keep it at 40 lumens. And I don't even want to think about how long it would last at 40 lumens if it's going to last for 10 hours at 400. So you see it comes with a bunch of these different inflate and deflate tools. This is probably for a, a beach ball or a balloon or something like that. This will actually screw onto your um, vacuum bags. And you will put this piece over that and that piece in here. And you can vacuum down a bag really, really tight. If you use those while camping or in your emergency or preparedness gear, not only do they keep things dry, but they make things a whole lot smaller. It is a very good idea, and I was actually planning on doing a video on them for packing up clothing for your emergency gear or your go kits or whatever. Um, I really like vacuuming bags. Um, I have a few. They're stored. I don't want to pull them out and unstore them and, un and inflate them and mess with them. So what I'm going to do is buy a couple and we'll actually use this to deflate them. But it makes it very, very handy. This is awesome not only for survival and preparedness, but you can do air mattresses, inflatable pool, pool floats, swimming rings, yoga balls, kids' toys. I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this. So I figured today what I'm going to do is take one of my larger air mattresses here, and we are going to blow it up and see if it can keep their claim. They say it'll blow up an air mattress in 30 seconds, an average air mattress. Now, looking at the size of this thing, I'm like, well, I don't know. That's kind of small. But we'll give it a try. My guess is that this is going to be the adapter for it. And this kind of works like this. You'll just slide that in there like that to push it on there. There we go. I push it up against my chest there. And it isn't really difficult to put on. It just kind of was at a weird angle. 
And that's how you'll be inflating things. Any of these have that same adapter. I'm not sure. I think, I think it's a bigger one for this one. I forget when I reviewed it. So we'll see if it's this one or the bigger one. So let me get this rolled out right down on the ground here. And we'll inflate it and see how well it works. All right, so I did need to go and use the smaller adapter. I forgot it was the smaller one. So with this, basically, you're going to open it all the way to drain it, but you're going to open this piece just to inflate it. So we're going to put that in there and turn the item on. And to turn it on, it's just two quick presses on that back button. You can see it inflating. It isn't too loud either. I thought it would be a little bit uh, really, really loud for such a small little item. It's not really too bad. Probably hard to see it. It gets a little slow once it looks full, <laughs> but it is inflating it. Oops, I stopped it by mistake. I don't know, I'd say that looks pretty inflated to me. Let's test it for a sec here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's good. So, there it is. Now, I don't know if it took 30 seconds, and I did accidentally hit the button in the middle of the inflation there. But you can see, that definitely works pretty well. Um, to get that inflated that quickly, you know, just a simple little, uh, simple little device like that. Pretty darn cool. Now, I know the bottom of this is going to be a bigger hole. Um, and it also is pretty much self-deflating when I open it up. So, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to test the deflating on it. But you see how easily that deflates on its own. <laughs> really need a deflator. Um, you probably could put this in here. It fits on the back. Instead of on the front here, you'll fit it on the back. And it will suck the air out. But really, I don't really need it with something like this. It's fairly simple to use. Um, so I'm really impressed. That works very, very well. And as far as, you know, carrying a pump, I mean, this is obviously this is something I'd probably just do with my own mouth and inflate it. But um, for bigger air mattresses, when you're camping, if you have a family or if you have your bug out equipment um, set up for, you know, a mattress where there's maybe two or three people sleeping on it or your kids or whatever, something like this really, really shines instead of having to sit there and carry a big heavy D battery device or a bigger um, device itself or sitting there forever blowing it up. So, let's get it back on the table. Let's finish up. I'll give you the price on it because it's really not that bad. And uh, we'll finish up. Before we finish up, no test would be complete without testing the light out. Since this thing does have a light, I have it on the 40 lumens right now. Granted, that's not bright, but, um, you know, the camera doesn't really do it justice. Let me point it down to the ground a little here so you can kind of see. That would be more than enough for inside a tent. So, let's take it up to the next level. And I will point it this way because that's going to be a little brighter. Now we're starting to talk about having enough light to see and use as a flashlight. Last level of 400 lumens, and there you go. If you were to hang that up in a tent, you can see just how bright that is. And the funny thing is, this looks brighter on the camera here than it does in person. That's gotta be a first. But you can see how bright that is. You can see everything here. No problem at all. And that lasts 10 hours on 400 lumens. So that's pretty darn good if you really needed a bright light. And I don't feel it getting warm in my hands at all. I'm kind of covering it with my hand. Don't feel it getting warm or anything. So, let's finish up on the table, give you the price, and where you can pick one up. All right, so that is the Gigapump 2.0, world's smallest air pump and lantern. And I know there's going to be people out there that say, oh, I don't need that. I can blow up a small air mattress myself. That's just extra weight. Well, it's like 89 grams of extra weight. I mean, this thing is super, super light. 2.8 ounces, I believe, around. Uh, I mean, not only that, but you're getting a tent light as well. So, for the added convenience of not having to sit there and, you know, into your air mattress all day, and having a tent light, can't beat it. So, these run 30 bucks, $29.99. They are on Amazon. I will have one of them in my store, and they do have an ample supply of them. I know sometimes I post stuff, and within 10 minutes it's sold out, and I really feel bad. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, sold out already? The trick with Amazon is to keep going back and checking it. Save it in your favorites, go back, check it, and see if it's going to be there again. That's really the trick with them. Um, but I do have a link to it down below. You can check it out. Uh, definitely a neat little system. I like it. You know, this is probably going to go in one of my go bags. 
I'm probably going to put it in my, uh, my ham radio go bag because that's a go bag that I'd be most likely to be taking in my vehicle and it's got everything I need to camp. It's an enormous backpack and it weighs about 45 pounds, you know, once when it's with, with it all filled. But the chances of me going that with my bat on my back are slim to none. That's going to be tossed in my car when we get called out for, you know, some kind of emergency response. So I'd probably put it in there because I have a larger air mattress in there. And with me, that bag is more about comfort. You know, I do have my bug out bag set. And those are packed, you know, for each individual situation. Um, you don't need them for each individual situation. It's just being a gear reviewer. I get so much gear that I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? I know. I'll build another bug out bag. This one will be for when I go on vacations, you know. You don't really need. You just need one solid one. But um, I will be uh, putting it in there. I think it's a really handy item. The uh, lithium-ion batteries will hold its charge a good long time. Um, you can charge this via solar panel if you have a little 10-watt or 20-watt folding type solar panel or a bigger one. Uh, it does come with, of course, the cable and a really nice little case. So you can really fit everything in there that you need to, and it all does fit in. And for 30 bucks, I don't know, I, can't, I don't think you can beat it. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, you can go to Walmart and buy one of those big heavy ones that takes D batteries and, you know, weighs about a pound and a half. Or you can do something like this, seal it up, toss it in your bag, you don't even remember you have it in there. So, that's the Gigabump 2.0, links down below where you can pick one up. Don't forget to check out all our links. Uh, we do have our freeze-dried wholesalers. Uh, that link down there, if you click that link, you will save 15% on anything on his site. And he is very well stocked up. We have our My Patriot Supply down there, which is preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com. They have everything in stock as well. No shipping delays yet. Um, I think when you start seeing more heavy, we kind of come custom shortages in stores. I think when you start seeing more heavier shortages in stores, you'll probably start seeing more panic buying online. So they're good for now. We have our Thrive Life link down below. Don't forget to check them out as well if you're interested in getting started with Thrive Life. There's nothing to join. If you just want to buy a couple of their products, their freeze-dried food, you can. There's nothing to join there. You can join and save money, but you don't have to. You can try out the stuff first. And our Amazon affiliate store. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.